Greetings and salutations. I am Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of, Euro of Europa Universals. No, 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 no. Hearts of Iron 4 as the Soviet Union under Trotsky. And let's see. Europe. Pretty wide theater there. Okay, we are producing a great deal of units, a great deal of tanks. We definitely we need to do that. I'm just gonna take it easy for now. We are going to have to deal with... Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, now they're actually invading. Oh. Is that what you invaded? This little island? Okay. We're getting more units over there. Um, I was gonna distribute you like this, but now I'm uncertain. You're the ones on the... That's not you. You, yeah, right. You. Cancel your orders. If we go to war with Yugoslavia, we go to war with Yugoslavia. You are going to have a fallback line. For whatever reason, garrisoning doesn't seem to do the trick in terms of protectioning. protecting. That's not what I wanted you to do. Um, yeah, garrisoning does not seem to uh, make him protect everything. It just it goes to the victory point or something. I don't know. So instead, we're going to have these guys construct a fallback line. Uh, let's see if we can make a fallback line that goes along the coast. And not into the coast. Not up in the mountains either. Da -dum, da -dum, drawing, drawing. Drawing. Drawing more. Ah, I don't do this. Fallback line all the way out there. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Ah, do that for now. See what he does. We have aircraft. And we're going to do some air superiority with the Sea of Japan. Let's see what Kosk, I think. And interception in case you find any kind of interesting things there. We have some naval bombers. Oddly enough, I think we're gonna reposition them to the far east as well. Reposition them there for now. Yeah, we probably do want to... S oh, darn it. Okay, let's go here. Uh, da, da, da. Great form reserves. Our... Oh, so many poor aircraft. These interwar bombers, yeah, all of them. Tactical bombers. All the tactical bombers we have. Yeah, you just let me know when you're there. So let me get this straight. He did a naval invasion somewhere. Here. Yeah, he did a naval invasion of Kamchatka Island. Okay. Well, there's not much you can do with them for now. And for whatever reason, he chooses to defend over there. Airways with no mission. Yeah, tactical bombers. You're gonna go into the sea there. You're still redeploying. Close air support. Oh, I don't know. Like that. In case you find anything of interest there. Available planes and reserve. Yeah, that's probably because now we have uh, some close air support aircraft, but they're not really necessary over there. 
Can they do port strikes? I don't know if they can. And for that matter, do our airfields have the capacity to do anything like that? No. I'm just gonna take it easy. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna end the war with Japan. I really do not know. Um Okay, so it is September 40. If we're gonna fight Japan, we'll have to need we we're gonna go with mar we need marines, but we also need a navy. That's gonna take forever to build. So I'm trying to figure out what to go for. And there's also the industrial techs, and we're starting to need both the factory repair speed. We have very damaged factories. We kind of need this kind of stuff too. You know what? We're gonna need to just. Eventually we'll deal with Japan. We're not going to be able to do that for a very long time. Oh, and we have enough army experience. I could probably... I can probably modify our tank one step further. I'm going to do that. Da, 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 da. Modify the T-34 even more. Even more reliability. Armor. Main gun and engine. Yes, and you're going to shift to the Mark II. Uh, that's only you I want to see, so that's shift click, there we go. You're going to mark, make the Mark II. Yes, you become available for it, yeah. T-34 Mark II. not really much else for us to do. You just do that. So we have someone going on the fallback line there. Uh, dangerous naval invasion. Yeah, you keep saying so, but how the hell will I find out whether or not you're actually invading or not? It's starting to bug me. Do you have your orders? Naval bomber standing by. Yeah, you not, don't have orders. Why don't you just let me know? Go into the sea. You go to sea, Japan. No? Why not? Oh, they don't have coverage. Oh, they're not. Ah. Well, in that case, you can move to the other airfield there. And tactical bombs are still gonna go in the sea of Kotsk. Or are they? Nah, go to, go to the sea of Japan, I think. Yes, here we no mission. You're gonna fly to the Sea of Japan and have fun there. If you can. Yeah, so Japan is probably trying to invade into Siberia, and there's not really much I can do about that right now because our regiments are dumb and not doing what I what I'd imagine they'd be doing. Let's put it like that. Uh, more infantry divisions, 13 of them, you're gonna join uh, this group. Central Russia? What? Oh. Just low supplies or something? Oh, that's because I'm clicking, that's why. Yeah, 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 dangerous nail invasion. I. I got it. Nothing I can do there. Diversifying the program. Rocket science. Yay! Push for that. 
Synthetic oil focus. You still haven't done any of those. You're knowing air defense. Extend the Maginot line. <laughs> okay. Well, you're terrified now then. Uh, so the Republic in Italy, did I change the tree? No, they still have the Italian tree. War bonds. And we have slowly started influencing the United States towards communism. Better infantry equipment, very good. So... We're gonna start with the Marines. It feels kind of stupid, but yeah. We'll have to see if we can get to Japan. Unless the United States somehow, for some reason, declares war. Uh, they're only now starting over there. Wow. Interesting. So they can... <laughs> uh, all plan black. Wait a second. Okay, current war fascist is not fascist. They're not fascist now. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, okay, so they could still go that way. I don't know. Now, we'll see what happens. Everybody hates us. We're still uh, fixing things here. Um, trying to export the revolution. We'll see. Brazil is getting there. 36%. Let's see, stating a coup. What did what it take? What would it take? I need them to have 50% majority, I think, before. I need them to have majority. Before I do anything. And yeah, he's gonna keep screaming, Oh, invasion, invasion, invasion. Uh, but there's not much we can do about that. If they want to invade our split islands. Okay, we've lost some naval bombers. If we might want to go just with an air force, it could, we could bomb into the pieces and do this as well. But, yeah, there is so much for us to build. And we still have quite a few other other things we could attack. Uh, Japan on its own is not a faction, I think. Factions. No, Japan is not an actual faction. So, yeah. There is that. Ooh. Naval convoy. What happened? We shot down... Oh, we just took, took, took down two destroyers. Okay, good. Yeah, maybe we'll focus on that then. And naval bombers. T -t 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 production. Where are you? Production. Aircraft. Oh, really, really rubbish naval bombers. Uh, I'm gonna cancel this one. I'm never gonna have the factories for it anyway. I'm gonna just do it like this. In case we actually get the military factories, we're gonna make naval bombers. And we're probably gonna create some fighter wings for close air support. Some wings for close air support, yeah. To close air support, where are you? That is you. Move all. Why? Why do we have many of them? 
Okay, do that. And you're going to require a thousand. Gonna be very, very supportive. We'll see. Air rings with yeah right. Dum uh, dum dum dum. Just say, just do this. Close air support here. Actually, you could do naval strikes, but uh, I'd need an airfield for you. Hmm. Okay. Where's bloody well stock? Incredibly healthy. Independent naval base of Vladivostok. Yeah, I want to build an airfield here. If I can. You do have an airbase in Vladivostok. Or am I misunderstanding this? Uh, airbase, airbase. Where's the airbase symbol? Where is the airbase? You said this state has an airbase. Why did you confuse me so? Because I can't see the symbol. That that's that bugs me. Can I tell you to move to Vladivostok? That's basically what I'm trying to figure out here. Ugh. Yay for this resolution. Let's see. Can I tell you to, like, go here? I mean... If Vladivostok has an airfield, where the heck is it? Uh, it's just a states, states map. Oh, there we go. All of this is Vladivostok. Okay, so this is their field then. Okay, fine. Um, darn it, where'd he go? You. Let's see if we can find it again. A battle cruiser. Yeah, it's so fine, they definitely hold a greater number. That's okay. More of them. Let me sack another two destroyers. Insufficient resources, we are short oil, rubber, tungsten. Being short oil is kind of odd, but okay. Uh, let's go with tungsten first. Sure, we're gonna increase that to by one. Then oil. It's possible trade with the US because we want good relations. How much oil were we short? I only one then. I don't want to. I don't want to go too far. Our factories are kind of busy. Yeah, the close air support now without mission. You're gonna go into the Sea of Japan and just go nuts. At least I want this part of the shore protected. If he tries to land up here, that's okay. I don't think there is any resources in these eastern Siberia. There are no airfields. There are a few naval bases here and there, but yeah. If he invades, I'll push him back. His, arm, his army is so inferior that even if he landed everything, 
they'll still sink and we're getting them destroyed down there. More destroyers. Oh, he's trying to invade on here. That's what he's doing. My goodness. And he's doing a good job at it all of a sudden. Close city network. Yay. And that was it. So. Yeah. Um. <laughs> moving the industry to your old little girls didn't do anything for us. Uh, coming cars, the attacks. We don't really want to do that. And we are already at war with Japan. I suppose we could eat Tanutova. And this would make the communists hate, our, hate us more. But the communists are not the power factor in that, so yeah. Ooh, we sank a battlecruiser. No, actually, they survived. I misread this. That's, that's survivors, darn it. So I haven't sunk anything. They just engaged and failed. Ah, dough. So many woohoos for nothing. <laughs> okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So I suppose I could go down the route for bombers. Or I could just focus on industry and just get everything. I'm gonna focus on industry techs for a while. Yeah, I, yeah. This ain't gonna happen anytime soon. It just isn't. I think we built one maybe big ship in this entire conflict. Yeah, we finished one super heavy battleship. And that is it. Uh, more troops are available. One of 13 regiments. Um, create a new regiment for that, for the U. And uh, what's the else why? Oh, those are the ones we got from uh, Expeditionary Forces. Okay. U. I'm just gonna see what you do if I tell you to garrison uh, this part. Answers you don't really need it. That's not really needed. You just get one general. There you go. Better someone than no one. And see if we got Kotsk. Okay. Best of luck, buddy. Japan all of a sudden be able... How did you all of a sudden get a foothold in China? When China has that many more troops? Did China decide to move all the troops on our front or something? I don't know. Okay. So we lost a bunch of aircraft. And they lost nothing. I'd like to think we're in the air war, though. Or is that also survivor? And yeah, okay, so we haven't lost aircraft. Uh, just, we saw each other, we, we scowled at one another, we didn't actually do anything else. I keep, I keep reading that wrong. So I'm still building quite a bit of a navy, an army I mean. And we are also doing all kinds of fun stuff. Trying to influence certain governments. Hey, better. 
uh, cruiser. That's good. Still not as good as it can be, so we're going to keep pushing. Not that we have the capacity to produce any of them. Oh, like, uh, let's see. We are building uh, this. <laughs> Which is not much at all. And we have so few factories compared to others, I believe. Let's see, we have 146 military factories. 63 there. Compared to, say, the US. Uh, they have a Warplan White. Yeah, that is what I was afraid of. So he's trying to figure out a way to go to war with us. And I'm not going to be able to stop it. So, yeah, because Japan joined my war, but not the Allies' war, I'm kind of screwed. Oh well, there's not much for me to do about that. Oh, there we go. They actually tried a naval invasion here. Uh, one and one division is attacking there. Uh, quite a few more are attacking over here. So it would be nice, like, if you sent, like, one, two, three, five yards over to here. That could be kind of useful. In, like, defending the entire bloody province instead of they call it off, okay. I'm not... Uh, the garrison commander... Uh, they decided... Ah, garrisoning! Oh, I should put everyone in one province. Rather than, like, defend the entire coast. Uh. Okay, construction three. It is 41. So the industrial techs are most certainly very appealing right now. So he's trying to invade there. He's gonna have a hard time doing that, I think. Uh, I think you are gonna join this order. Which, of course, you're gonna completely over. Ah, darn it. Okay, um. I wouldn't happen to have. Well, these are all old guards. Do we have a. Level 3 guy that we're willing to promote. Sure, you sir. You are now the field admiral there. You take control of this stuff. 44 divisions, you're gonna protect your whole line there. Um, there are two colors here. Not just the other one. Well, that is your right. That's the ones I borrowed, I think. Oh, well. I'm pretty certain it's not going to be able to succeed here. I don't all hope so. Push back here, they get pushed back there. If I could make peace with Japan, I would love to do so. 
Can I do that? No. You're not the war leader for the losing side. Oh. Okay. So you can offer peace if you you're losing. <laughs> okay. Well, that is problematic. And they still have a ton of units. Attritioning away in Bavaria. Starting to think it was a good thing to take, but take that area. Uh. Sure, push down the doctrine tree. I want all the doctrines I can. What about my darling little puppet? How are you doing? Have you actually started building up an army? You have. Very good. Uh, my tanks, where are you? There you are. Uh, I'm gonna have to reorganize you eventually. What are all these? What are... Oh, select. Uh, oh, of course, they're down there, really. Not up here. You are gonna join... Wait, where did the Far East Theatre go? You're supposed to be here. Ugh. Confused me for a moment. Okay, you're all deploying there, good. I am gonna strengthen you even further. Not with the tanks. But certainly with the infantry. And let's see, hold you in this. Hold you in another one. So how am I gonna organize this? Um I want smaller sections, I think. So I have two tanks there. Of you, just one. So, yeah, that's 60 combat width. Don't think I want that all that much wider because they're gonna be breakthrough pretty much. So, I'm gonna put you up here. I'm gonna need to put some people in charge of these. Timoshenko is a superb... I'm going to need you to... And some infantry, I think. I don't think I have more... Uh, armor feathers. But I do want to... Give them some good troops. There we go. Let's see. I want to strengthen the... Mountaineer Corps, too. You could have quite a few more. So, uh, train a few infantry. Uh, da, da, da. How many do I want here? I only want one. That's 12. Probably not going to need more than that. Uh, that's fine. For now, anyway. Main tanks. Not gonna do anything with them yet. Oh, do I want more tanks in each of these? Uh, I think I do. So we're gonna divvy out a few tanks. Four tanks and one infantry, something like that. Uh, yeah. And naval convoys. Nothing happened. This war is going to take forever, uh, because I can't reach the Japanese islands, and they can't really invade me, and they are unwilling to make a peace. And if I start something with the 
a neutral country at this point, they will probably join the Allies and... Well, there we go. So... Not really something I'm interested in doing. Yeah, sure, we're gonna annex Anatoa, just because. It looks so weird. And I assume that they've industrialized, I certainly hope so. Done all that stuff, you have all done factory stuff, good. So that's okay. You can join us, that's fine. And we still need to produce a ton of things, so yeah. It's gonna take a while to, for us to be ready with a certain... Uh, a certain invasion! Or for that matter, a war with the... Uh... Oh my, more aircraft. What? Oh, you're telling me you have fighter aircraft. Well, in that case, let's create a fighter division over here. Just so we have some. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? Okay. Um. Did that just happen? Did I just see that happen? <laughs> okay, um... So, the country I freed, which for some reason became fascist, decided it was time to attack the Allies. Or well, at the very least, uh... Well, that was surprising. Um, da -da -da -da, with the forces that are currently stationed here. Let's grab those orders. There seems to be a very aggressive Austria that we need to contain. Um, okay, uh, da -da -da -da, front line, like so. Go. I assume that's because uh, <laughs> they're very weak. And they are twice as strong, so they think, hey, we can definitely take care of these guys. <laughs> oh boy. Ah well, we'll see if, if Austria succeeds in ki ki killing Italy <laughs> next episode, I think. Oh yeah, I'm amused by this. Okay, short break. Thank you for watching.